The love of the Bible says that uh, we are a city built on top of a hill. We are the light of the world. It is only normal, it is only fair if you are the light of the world. It is only fair and normal if you are the city on top of a hill to be seen by all. That's why I do not mind my brother. That's why I do not mind my sister. When people point fingers at you, when people criticize you, when people see how weak you are, when people speak bad about you, the Lord your God has seen your sacrifices. You're not like Job who has had everything and lost it. But you started with nothing and God started taking you from nothing and walking with you to everything that he called you to be. Started walking with you in receiving the blessings that he has for you. He says, I will shake the heaven. This is a presentation of Alleluia Ministries International. Guy chapter 2, verse 3 to 9. The Bible says, Who is left among you who saw this temple in its former glory? And how do you see it now in its comparison with it? Is it not in your eyes as nothing? Yet now be strong, Zorobabel, says the Lord. And be strong, Joshua, son of Jezo Zadak, the high priest. And be strong, you all people of the land, says the Lord. And work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. According to the word that I have covenanted with you, when you came to the land of Egypt, my spirit remains among you, do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, once more, it is a little while, I will shake the heaven and the earth, the sea and the dry land, and I will shake the nations, and they shall come to the desire of all nations, and I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. The glory of this later temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Amen. I titled my message, The Second Glory of a Temple. Hallelujah. The writer in this book simply means... That in every generation, in every season, and in every period of time, there are people, men and women, that passes on. In every generation, in every season, and in every time, there are men and women that go and be with their Lord. Amen. But Church of God, listen to me. In every generation... They are men and women in every season. They are men and women in every period as well. They are men and women who the Lord preserves to stay on the land of the living. Reason to that is because the Lord has seen potential in such people. He preserves them not because they pray better. He preserves them not because they are more holy. He preserves them not because they are more intelligent. He preserves them because he has seen potential in their lives to testify 
of the goodness of the Lord over your life. Amen? It is believed that there are no good publicity and there are no bad publicity. I believe that has been taught to us by our spiritual father, Pastor Alf. Amen? The Bible says, who among you, who among you who is left, who has seen the former glory of this temple? Let me bring to your attention, beloved, that this temple that the Bible is talking about is not the structure that we are in now. But this temple the Bible is talking about is you and I. The Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We got to understand that, beloved. This temple that the Bible is talking about is you and I. The Bible is saying, who among you who's left, who has seen the former glory of this temple? The reason because God keeps people that he preserves is because they have mastered the situations of your life. They know where you are coming from. They have seen you walk to church. They have seen you being chased out of your house because you did not pay rent. They have seen you quarrel with your husband or with your wife. They have seen your children being sent home because you did not pay their school fees. And all they do, because they master your, the events and the circumstances of your life, all they do is they point fingers. They begin to say, this man, I know all about him. This woman, from generation to generation, he has been suffering. This guy that you see, he sleeps under a bridge because he has no roof over his head. But the Bible says... Who is there among you who has seen the former glory of this temple? The Lord is talking to such people this morning. All those who point fingers because they believe that nothing good will come out of you. All those who point fingers because they say that you will amount to nothing. Your children never went to school. They will amount to nothing. All they know they, they want to do is to show how good they look. All they do is to criticize you and backbite you because they believe that you will remain where you are. Who among you who's left, who has seen the former glory of this temple? Beloved, the Bible says that we are a city built on top of a hill. We are the light of the world. It is only normal, it is only fair if you are the light of the world. It is only fair and normal if you are the city on top of a hill to be seen by all. That's why I do not mind my brother. That's why I do not mind my sister. When people point fingers at you, when people criticize you, when people see how weak you are, when people speak bad about you because you are lifted up high, you are a city built on top of a hill. You cannot be hidden. You cannot be hidden. Beloved, I am here to encourage you this morning. I am here to encourage you this morning. It is only fair for them to see. If they do not see, who do you expect to see? Because they are there and kept for a reason. They are there and kept for an assignment. Who do you want to announce you if nobody is there to see you struggling? Who do you want to announce you if no one sees you cry? Who do you want to announce you when nobody sees you going through the tough times of life? The Lord preserves such people for your benefit. The Lord preserves such people for your good. Do not mind my brother. Do not mind my sister. If they call you names, you call me all you want. I will applaud for you, for I know there are no bad publicity, there are no good publicity. As long as you are talking about me, somebody else outside is noticing me. For I know as you are talking about me, somebody that did not know me has been given an opportunity to get to know who Minister Ange is. Come on, criticize me. Go on, speak about me. All I know, I will hold on this word. Who among you, who has seen the former glory of this temple i'm here this morning to speak to you on the path that many do not know on the path of those who are mocking you do not realize that uh, this temple has a second part this temple does not just limit itself in the struggles 
This temple does not just sleep under a bridge. This temple, this temple, this temple does not just sleep hungry. This temple does not just lack. This temple, the temple of the Holy Ghost. This temple, the temple of the living God. I'm a covenant son. I'm a promised son. You mind what you, you are doing. You speak bad about me. It's okay. I will hold on to the word that the Lord has said. I will hold on to this word. Who among you has seen the former glory of this temple? I went through it all. I suffered it all. I cried all night long. Who among you has seen the former glory of this temple? But now what people do not realize is that this temple is in the plans of the living God. This temple is going through a process. This temple is being built by the biggest, by the best, by the God of the one that made heaven and the earth, the uncreated creator, the one that says a word and that word comes to pass, the one that sees the beginning from the start, the one that is able to say a word and it comes to pass. The Bible says, the word of the Lord does not return to him void until it fulfills it fulfills all, everything, all that it has been sent for. The word of the Lord has been sent this morning just for you. I can guarantee you, I can assure you, my brother, beloved, I can assure you that this word will not return to the maker void until, I say, until it fulfills the purpose of that which it has been released for. Allow me to tell you, brother, allow me to tell you, sister, that God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you. A plan that no community ever had for you. A plan that your government does not have for you. The plan that no papa has for you. The plan that mommy did not have for you. The maker of heaven. The lord of lords. The creator of everything that exists. Has a plan for you. He says, I knew you way before you were in the womb of your mothers. When you were not even formed. When you did not know the stresses of life. When you did not even know that you will come to existence. He knew you and he ordained you. God has a plan for you. This is not the last of you. And do not allow anybody to put a full stop in your life. Just because they bought a new shoe. Do not allow anybody to put a full stop in your life. Just because they bought a new car. Do not allow anybody to put a full stop on your life. Just because they got married. Because the Lord of hosts has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. The greater plan. The master plan. And it shall come to pass this morning. None of us will leave this place the same way we walked in today. Who among you who have seen... Who among you is left who has seen the former glory of this temple? Who among you, Minister Rendani? Who among us who has seen, who is left, who has seen the former glory of this temple? Allow me to tell you, the former glory, it is gone. The former glory is gone. You have seen me struggling. I thank God for you. You have seen me walking to church. I thank God for you. But now, the Bible says that it is time for God to shake the heaven. Ah, Santa. The Bible says it is time for God to shake the earth. Why? Because God has a plan for you. The heaven is open. God did not just open the heaven, but he shook the heaven. Allow me to tell you, brother. Allow me to tell you, sister, that uh, there is a shift in the spiritual realm uh, happening right now because God is shook. God is shook. God shook the heaven just for you. Just for you. God shook the heaven. But why did God shake the heaven and shake the earth? Beloved, tell me, if this foundation will shake, do you think you'll still be where you are? 
if this foundation is to shake, do you think your belonging will still be where they are? They will fall. Some of us who were in this place will move to this place. Some of us who were here will run to the other side. God is shaking the earth for somebody this morning. God is shaking the earth for somebody in this place. The reason God is shaking the earth is because he is tired. God is pulling his sleeve this morning. He says, enough my son. Enough my daughter. You have gone through it for too long. You have suffered it for too long. It is time for me. The greater I am God. It is time for me Jehovah God it is time for me your maker to show off to show off with you you are the best thing that God have ever created God is about to show off with your life God is about to let the whole world know come 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 and see my son come and see my daughter God God is about to show off who am I speaking to this morning who am I speaking to this morning? Is there anyone that I'm speaking to? Is there anyone that is about to receive the shift of God? Is there anyone that is about to change levels? Is there anyone who's about to go higher? Is there anyone? Who am I speaking to this morning? Who am I speaking to this morning? Who am I speaking to this morning? My father says, Leo, John Leo. Yanda I stand on my father's pulpit. I stand on my spiritual father's pulpit. And I declare today is today. Leo, John Leo. Today, not today. A spiritual shift is taking off. A spiritual shift is taking off. God shook the heaven and shook the earth just for you. Allow me to tell you, family. The devil once decided to visit Jesus, decided to visit the heaven, and uh, came to the presence of the Almighty God. God asked him, Hey, boy, hey, Wena, what are you doing in my presence? Where are you coming from? He says, I've been roaming around, I've been going around. The Lord of hosts looked at him and said, Hey boy, hey son, hey wena, you devil, have you seen my servant Job? Some of you will give the answer that the devil has given God. Some of them will give the very same answer that the devil has given God. He says, because you have given him the comfort of life, it's because he has not been struggling. That's why he's like this. That's why he praises you. That's why he loves you. Uh uh uh. No, no, no. Uh uh uh. Have you, has anyone among you who's left, who has seen the former glory of this temple? The difference between you and Job is that you have proven your love for God. Before God has blessed you, you have proven your love for God before you receive your breakthrough. You have given and shown your love for God before the world got to know about you. You were just a walking brother coming to church under the rain with your Bible under your armpit saying, I will get there. I will make it. I don't mind waiting, Lord. I know you have a plan. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. We don't mind waiting. We do not mind waiting. We come to church under the rain. 
I've seen our fellow brothers and sisters in Lindester after the Friday service at night walking that side of Balfour Park from the church. It is risky, but I will walk. It is risky, but I will go to church. I do not know if I will get a lift coming back home at 10, but I will still walk to church. I will still walk back to church. I will still go to church. And after the church, I will still put my Bible under my armpit and walk home, walk home because I know my Lord has a plan because I know Jehovah God is working and perfecting my blessing is working and perfecting my blessing is working and perfecting my breakthrough today is the day of your breakthrough today is the day of your miracle today is the day of the solution that you have been seeking God for my baby boshe ya bababa yanda ma sheke de besa mesha we walked to church with no lift. Some of us, our cell phones have been taken in the process of walking to church and home. Some of us come to church on Friday after fasting. We did not even break our fasting. We start walking back home. And we get home. We do not even know if we have things to eat, food to eat. But I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. For you have a plan. You have a plan for my life. And you have a purpose for my life. I am a sanctified son of the living God. I am different. I am unique. Don't undermine me because you see me walking. Mande Mashiana Masonto. Rekate Baba Sente. The difference I was saying, the difference between you and Job. The devil says, he's loving you. He's worshipping you because of the comfort that you have given him. He drives a nice car. He sleeps in a nice villa. He eats the best food of the land. He travels abroad whenever he wants. He wakes up in the morning. He's in the USA. Take away those things and we shall see if he will still love you the same. Even though he still did not stop loving his God. He came again for the second time. He says to the living God. He says because you have given him good health. That's why he's praising you. The difference again I will say between you and Job. Is because you with your sickness. You have been making your way to church. Without the comfort. You do not know what America looks like. Except on the movie. But you still come to church. Job with all that he had. He loved God. But you. With the former glory of the temple. That you have been having. That you have been going through. You kept on loving this God. You kept on perceiving to loving this God. You said, I will not give up. I will not give in. He is my Lord. I shall love him with all my heart. He is my Lord. I shall love him with all my mind. He is my God. I shall love him with all my strength and my abilities. I am a covenant son of Pastor Alf. His name is Alf Lukau. And he is our father. Can I brag a little bit? His initials are A-N-L. My initials are A-N-L. As it flows from the head, from my father. It's flowing onto me. I'm passing it on to you this morning. It's flowing on to me. I'm passing it on to you this morning. It's flowing on this pulpit. And I'm passing it on to you. Begin to receive the glory of God. Begin to receive the breakthrough from the living God. Begin to receive the breakthrough that you have been waiting for for too long. Job. Who am I speaking to this morning? Who am I speaking to this morning? If I'm speaking to you, wave to the Lord. Tell him I love you, Jesus. 
Ah, you are good, my God. You have a plan for my life this morning. I am not going home empty-handed. I am taking every of my blessing home with me. I'm not returning home empty-handed. The Bible says, none comes to his presence and leaves the same. We shall live victorious. We shall live out of here in glory. You with your sickness. You with your struggles. You with your lack. Unlike Job, you've been walking, making your way to church. Why won't you be blessed? Why won't the Lord remember you? Why won't the Lord lift you up? Why, the Lord, why won't the Lord dust you off from the dustbins of men and hold you for the hand and say, my son, come. Let me walk with you. Let me take you and make you sit with the greater. The Bible says, he holds the heart of the kings by his hands and he directs it in which way they shall turn, they shall go to. That's the Lord your God, the God that you're serving. This morning he will dust you off. Men have thrown you out. Men have said things about you. But the reason why God has preserved them is so that they may be witness. See what you have been going through. See you walking to church. See you in lack. See you crying. Seeing the landlord chasing you out of your apartment. So that after now, when you exit that door, you go and receive a phone call. You go and receive that phone call that you have been waiting for. That that door, when that door breaks, it's only for you to walk through. That's how I define breakthrough. Something must break for me to walk through. Ah, Sekebesha. This morning, something will break for you to walk through. Your breakthrough is here in Jesus' name. Your breakthrough is for this morning in the name of Jesus. And it began already. Some of you, as you are seated here, God has begun to do great things already. Some of you, as you are seated here, I want to tell you, my brother, I want to tell you, my sister, you do not have to mind and worry about the things that you have been going through. For the time has arrived. For the time is now. The Lord your God has seen your cries. The Lord your God has seen your sacrifices. You're not like Job who has had everything and lost it. But you started with nothing and God started taking you from nothing and walking with you to everything that he called you to be. Started walking with you in receiving the blessings that he has for you. He says, I will shake the heaven. We say, open the floodgates in abundance Mandesha and goes your rain Mashia Baba to fall on us Mayeba Shia Baba the floodgates yes Lord in abundance and goes your rain to fall on us prayer. Oh, Make this song your prayer. Make this song your Baba, prayer. Because it is for now. Baba, your breakthrough it is for now. Your miracle is for now. Mashaya mama mama sente. Your next level in God is for now. You have been waiting for this time for too long. It is for now. God is here to answer all your prayers. It is for now. Yes, Akeba Babo Sheta. My brand name is Namashia Namama Kobo Baba Baba. Ika Namama Mama Mama Sheta. Hey, Ababo Sheya Baba Baba. We brand name is Rebecca Baba 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 We glorify you, O Jesus. Sekabo Sheta Mama Mama. Reta ta 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 ta. We brand name is Namama Mama 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 Mama. Oh, Shia Namama. Bless you, Jesus. Guru Boshia Baba Baba. Rebrakata Barebe Kosunta. Rebrende Merebe Baba Bashente. Masaya Baba Baba Baba. He said, Gold is mine. 
Mashenta Korobosa. Gold is mine and silver is mine. If these things belong to God, do you think he will keep you in luck? If gold and silver belongs to the maker of heaven and earth, do you think he will be happy to see you struggling? No. It is the time. The time has arrived. Begin to pray. Begin to receive everything that God has in store for you. Begin to claim every blessing that God promised you. We are we the heir of promise Abraham. of Abraham. We claim every blessing, my God, this morning. We claim every blessing, my God, this morning. We claim it by fire. We claim it by fire. In the name of Jesus, my God, through the anointing of my spiritual father, Master Alflukau, I release the grace. I release the anointing. I release the ability, oh Lord God, to excel in everything that your people, in everything that your sons and daughters will do, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the morning. You are blessed in the afternoon. You are blessed in the evening. Your life shall never be the same again. Because God wants to manifest himself in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive. I say receive your breakthrough. Receive your miracles. Receive. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Ribe, be, 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 be